Hello, my darlings. Welcome to day 18 of our road trip. You and I are traveling together virtually around France. Today we leave Carcassonne and head north to a village near Bordeaux. It is called saint Emilion. Picture this gorgeous village dating back to prehistoric times, perched on this hillside with expansive views. Back, way back when, way back when, the Romans used to live there and they started planting wine grapes. And today it is known internationally for its Cab Franc and Merlot. There's other varietals there, of course, Cab. But we are going to go do a little wine tasting and hang out for three days. Originally, I had planned to be there through the weekend, but I checked the weather and the heat is starting to chase us. It's going to be in the 90s this weekend already. So we planned to leave a little early now and go up to the coast to escape the heat. So we're only gonna be in Santa Million for three days. Come join us and enjoy. Bisous, darlings. folks we made it saint emilion right here literally right up the street you walk two minutes you're in the middle of the village and this is our gite our vacation rental you're through this sweet little gate the girls are already in the backyard completely fenced and dog proof hi boy hi rosy posy in this backyard you have an amazing kind of private area. I mean, you're just steps away from the famous village of saint Emilion, And you've got a hammock, an outdoor seating area. So sweet. And they're so excited to be out of the car. This is your barbecue area, and I'll show you where the barbecue is, but I love how they set this up. We have everything that you need and you even can set the menu of the day. Isn't that great? Now the whole house is air conditioned, which I absolutely love because it does get hot here. You walk in through here, you've got a nice little um, kind of indoor outdoor space. 
You can still see what's going on if the girls were outside. A door here and then a welcoming area with everything that you might need to learn about what's going on here as you're staying in Santa Emilion. There's the barbecue. And so you just roll it outside and it can set up shop there. When you walk into the primary part of the house, you walk into the kitchen. And you've got a nice uh, sink, gas cooktop. Here is the refrigerator, nice big fridge. We already put some goodies inside of it. We're making some fish for dinner tonight. And a dining table, but I have to share with you what they did here. They wrote us a sweet little note and then gave us gifts. One for Pearl, one for Rose. And then we have these treats that I will tell you more about soon. I'm not gonna tell you about them right now. These are specialties of the area. And look at this, wine. We've got a San Emilio Grand Cru 2016. And a 2014 Pomerol. These are just from this area. You've got some nice little extra fun treats here. Jams and chutneys. Maps to help us guide our way around. You've got a Nespresso and a wine cave here with wines featured from the area. Lots of storage here and a sweet little fireplace because during the winter it gets cold. I love what they've done with this space. They've kept some of the uh, character and brought in really fun things like they created this little space here with the boxes. When you open up this window, look at the vineyards right there. So great. Girls, let's show everybody the living room. The open beams like that. It's got a nice sitting area that's a little bit modern, but also reflective of the area. Lots of wine references everywhere, of course. I don't have the lights on. It's just nice and cool and fresh in here. You don't even really need the AC to be on. On this little spot here, you've got a little toilet and washing area. This is a typical uh, washing machine here in France. So they're small units, but they're relatively efficient. They're a drum. They pop open like that. They don't dry. So if you're doing laundry and having things not line dried and dried quickly and efficiently is important to you, be sure to ask about that when you rent a place here in France because those sorts of units are very typical here. Whoops. <laughs> Does that feel good, honey? Yeah, does that feel good? It's a little warm outside for you. Let's go upstairs and see what we can find, huh? Come on, come up. Should we go upstairs, girls? <laughs> there we go. There you go. This is something else that is somewhat typical, these uh, kind of built-in doors. They usually are armoires that were built in at some point. Okay, so we have options. You can go this direction, en face, or la droite. Right, let's go right first. Sweet little sitting area. Gorgeous armoires and furniture. <laughs> you could hear Rose sniffing around. And your view. How do you like that? The details and the decor in this house is just so sweet. It's a perfect mix of modern 
and older things. Here's the bathroom. the wallpaper treatment in here and the dark modernized furniture like you know refinished the view out the window nice rain shower big rain shower bathroom and then let's go down and see what's in the other rooms This one is set up for children. Look at this. Thank you. What is that, girls? What is that? Kiss, kiss. <laughs> All right. We'll just keep that one closed so you guys don't go in. What do we have down here? Another lovely bedroom. With a gorgeous view. few nights until we leave for Ile de Rey. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Yes. Di merci, girls. Di merci. Merci. Merci bien. Merci bien.